It's cup tie time in the English League Cup. And I can sense the extra buzz amongst the supporters as we came into the stadium. And this game is Grimsby Town against Sheffield Wednesday. Number five, Nathan Clark. Number 14, Cody Osborne. Number seven, James Bellard. Number 22. There have been some negative comments, haven't there, Alan, about the way this team defends. Do you see them as a very negative side? Well, they can be, uh, and I don't expect things to change today because they have achieved results off the back of it. Defend deep, defend in numbers, and uh, difficult to break down. Let's look at Sheffield Wednesday and the list of their players here. So, Alan, 4-4-2? Yeah, I think it looks that way, Martin. Yes, it's the conventional shape. It's the one that the manager prefers. <laughs> Sheffield Wednesday... Well, they'll be working hard, I'm sure. Their last game was an away defeat against Preston North End. Yeah, I mean, it finished 1-0, but I thought they were a bit unlucky on the day. I thought they played OK and do fancy them to bounce back today. Thank you. Enjoy the game. Referee is Michael Salisbury. We're ready to go in this cup tie in the English League Cup. Well, there's a lot of good players out there, but uh, they don't always show it in this competition because nerves can get the better of you. Alman Abdi, Fox, they spread it out wide here, real opening now, in with a chance, it's a fast start here, they deserve that goal, they've been the better team early on. And here he was, faced by the goalkeeper, that was the challenge, in you go. Easy as you like. It looks easy, doesn't it? But I can tell you it's not. You have to be at the top of your game to try it and to convert it. Sheffield Wednesday in front. Goal for Sheffield Wednesday, number 21, George Bond. Quick witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there. But they could pose some danger now. The shot's on! Whoa, that's flown over the bar. Whoa, the crowd were up on their feet there. That was a spectacular effort. Every manager wants his team to be ruthless, and that was such an opportunity. No wonder he's unhappy at that miss. And that's the way to defend, make sure the opposition can't get on the ball in that part of the pitch. Glenn Lovens. Good position. They've worked this attack very well. Into a... Abdi! He's caught offside. You can see what he's trying to do. It's all about the timing of the run. He goes a bit early, gets a bit too eager.
Well, he was in the right place at the right time to cut it out. I like the look of this attack. Absolutely no trouble for the goalkeeper here. A penalty at Rotherham. It's a penalty for Rotherham United. A slight delay as the ref clears the defenders. Up he steps. Chance. Lovely. Sent the goalkeeper the wrong way. Cool as you like. 17 minutes played. 1-0. Cheers, Alan. Alman Abdi. There's good progress with this attack. Ben Davis. It was a hard start for the new boss, wasn't it, Alan? Defeat in his first match. Yeah, one or two things for him to work on on the training ground after that one. With the owner of the red car obstructing the main entrance, please remove the car as soon as possible. Thank you. George Boyd. Fox. Could be dangerous. That was a penetrating pass, or would have been had it got past the interceptor. Goal news involving Bolton, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Doncaster Rovers. 27 minutes played, 1-0. Well, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. Very good work by the goalkeeper. He's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. Alman Abdi. Well, they're in a good position here. Gets his cross in. One in front, they would be a lot more comfortable if they were two in front, and they really could have been. Yeah, might they look back on that with a bit of regret because that was a great chance to extend the lead, wasn't it? Well, when you're winning by a goal, a manager wants to see his team put the game to bed, but they couldn't do it there with that miss. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Good forward play from them. Oh, nowhere near. No, he's miscued that one. He miscued it badly. Well, getting the right kind of player is always a problem, even for a side like Manchester United. They do believe in this transfer, they have got the right kind of player. Exciting deal this for the fans and for his teammates. Around £70 million. Money well spent, I think. Coming on strong and looking to play their way through now. Dixon. It's looking good, this move. Good place to win the ball back there, because the pressure was starting to mount. And the interception was tough, and that's what the defenders love, to see a goalkeeper come out like that. Palmer. There's some potential in this move. Shots on here. Goal! They lead by two now. Took the chance nicely, and that really has given them much more of a basis for the rest of this match. Two for him on the day, and two very well-taken goals. Another angle on it here. Oh, he's loving it, the manager. He's seeing his team playing really well, just what he was asking for. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. For Sheffield Wednesday, number 21, George Boyd. Great interception. 
Well, there's still a chance for something to happen because there's three added minutes. Boy, good work by the goalkeeper. Headed down to a teammate. Simple save from an ambitious effort. Half time now, and 2 0 is the score at the break. A brilliant first half from this fella. On top of his game out there, and I'm sure he'll be thinking about grabbing his hat-trick in the second half. They spread it out wide here. Real opening now. In with a chance. Good position, they've worked this attack very well. Into a... Abde! There's some potential in this move. Shots on here. Good action in the English League Cup in the first 45 minutes. Second half starts now. Yeah, I think one or two players surprised us, actually, how well they played in that first half. They'll be delighted. Well read by the defender. That's good movement forward here. He's tried that from long range. Guiding it through the defenders. Looking for teammates in the middle. Guided through. Almost got through, but the keeper picked it up in time. On the move and able to cut out the pass. And they get it away. Now here's a chance to get at the opposition. Glenn Lovens. Just take a note of this EA Sports coverage of the EFL Championship fixture. Sheffield Wednesday, they'll be hosting Queen's Park Rangers. Yeah, a lot of people have been talking about this one. Looking forward to it. Really trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress. Well, there's still time to hit back in this game, and they're going to try and do it with a substitute. Getting forward well as a team now. Very weak challenge, only partially away from danger. Proper tackle that. It's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. McAllister. Nice return pass. Here's a chance to attack. Well, you don't see that so often. Just glided past him effortlessly. Well, they've got a corner. No apologies for focusing on this fella. Well, you can see from the graphic how busy he's been around that 18-yard box. Really has kept the keeper busy and got some reward too. He's put in the corner. It's broken down and they'll have to try again. There's been a penalty awarded at Loftus Road, Alan McAnally. It's a penalty for Barnsley. Here's the shot from...
distance. Substitution time. Coming off the pitch, number 17, Atty Nguyen. Coming onto the pitch, number 7, Jordan Rose. Hooper. There's a dangerous feel to this. It's a quick break. And it's a shot now. Well, that could be an important moment. That would have got them right back in the match. Well, they hadn't had too many chances, and uh, I think that miss could cost them in this game. Fox. Sam Hutchinson. These two have got a great understanding with their passing. That's safely away. Fox. Now this looks promising. That's very well cut out at an important time. It's a good cross. Still a chance in there, a wonderful finish. Well, when everybody else is standing looking, this player never does that. He's always on his toes, always on the lookout for the half chance. Oh! What a great goal. Well, the goalkeeper did his very best, but I think he might have regrets that he didn't get hold of that. Well, they want to see this again, this goal. One team really on their game today, Sheffield the other Wednesday, very off colour. Osborne. Now here's a chance to get at the opposition. Good reading of the by anticipating the pass. Goal news from Rotherham. It's a goal for Yeovil Town. Seven minutes remain. 1-1. One, one. Thank you very much, Alan. Alman Abdi. Osborne. McAllister. Slipping it through. Good forward play from them. Now, here is a chance for them. Miss Kidd, really, with the header. Yeah, not known for his heading, and you can see why there, with that effort. Two players ready to come on, and they'll bring them on together now. 23, Sam Hutchinson. Coming onto the pitch, number 20, Adam Reach. And number 8, Jacob Butterfield. Well, I'll be honest with you, this last few minutes have dragged a little bit from where we're sitting because the game as a contest is long, long over. Not a nice challenge, and the ref do. Three minutes, that's what's going to be played for added time. Really tussling for the ball here. Neatly intercepted. Referee says that's that. A confirmation then.
of their success in this cup tie today. Well, they sailed close to the wind once or twice, some good saves from the keeper, but I think they just about deserve this win. What a brilliant performance from this fella. Well, so often we think of his creative abilities, but a couple of goals here have won the match for his team. Spread it out wide here. Real opening now. In with a chance. Good position. They've worked this attack very well. Into a Abde. Some potential in this move. Shots on here. It's a good cross. Still a chance in there off. Wonderful finish.